Ripley pursues his interest in ornithology close to home as well, at the Smithsonian's National Zoo. Now, what fascinates you particularly about waterfowl? Well, I got hooked on waterfowl at an early age. Part of it is visual. Birds have elaborate color variations that are very responsive to colors. Birds are the only other higher vertebrate that is so color attuned compared to humans. And it is very attractive in a kind of artistic or aesthetic way. Some of the birds are banded on their beaks for identification. During this mating season, Ripley seems to know all of them on sight, down to the smallest quirk or personality trait. Now, those Ross's geese are doing very badly, those tiny, diminutive, white geese there. When you see them behaving so placidly like that in this time, you know right away they're not going to do you any good. They're not going to display properly. They're not going to nest and lay eggs, which is their bounden duty to do. Ross's geese are so rare, they're uncommon. They occur only in one special area of the northwest of our states. And it's very disappointing to me to see a silly group of non-active, non-productive <laughs> little geese. But at any rate, this is a good season now, you see. The eiders are beginning to display. You see the females are brown with rather long bills. Unfortunately, females mostly have to be brown because that's camouflage if they're sitting on a nest. The males are white on the back and on parts of the head. And of course, I love to watch this. The brown females, the ones that make those sort of guru guru noise. And the males respond by giving their display note which is very special. They get oriented in the water. They suddenly pull their neck back, pop it forward. And as they do that, you hear them go, oh. Now, look at those canvas backs over there. Do you see there's a pair? The male has the white back. And you see the male suddenly tighten the length of his neck. And the female responds to a very sensitive, rather sibilant little noise he makes at that point, a little whistle. It's as if uh, Caruso was singing an aria. And this is a sort of invitation to copulation. So they're courting. They are courting indeed.